like Jim Jones and lead you off into a ditch. First of all, I'll lead you to spray a couple houses and make a little bit of money. <laughs> You'll be running down bugs, stomping on termites, and you lost your mind. But if you let Jesus lead you, I don't care who they say who. I don't care if they're doing real good right now. There's coming a day where the hirelings are going to feed. Y'all know what I'm saying? Matthew 24, read it. They're a hireling. That's right, John chapter 10. The hireling. The hireling's going to leave. He's going to run off. And all these things happen in Matthew 24. The hireling's going to be gone. He's going to take his retirement plan to church done give him. He's, I'm out here. I got me a couple million saved up. Some of them aren't leaving now. They're running off saying, I'm going to retire. Did y'all ever see anybody retire in the Bible? <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm going to retire. I'm sitting pretty now, boy. I got me a congregation of about five, ten thousand. Buddy, and I done raked it up. And now I'm going to retire. Man, these people preach, they die. Do they drop your wine? Because the fire of God was inside their soul. And when the fire of God is in you like Jeremiah, you can't sit still. You can't retire. You can't do nothing but speak up. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? What's happened to us? What's happened to us? What's happened to us? Read verse 2. Chapter 19, you'll see what's happened to Elijah. Poor Elijah was a great anointed man of God. But when he got depressed, where did he go? He went into a cave. I think I'm going to retire now. I'm no better than my father. Lord, take my life now. It's not time, church, to do that. It's not time to hide in the caves like the children of Israel. It's not time to be in the dens, the lion's den, or a den of thieves right now, worried about sowing a seed to meet a need, or trying to make the preacher preach. <laughs> It is time to get on the holy mountain with God Almighty. Praise God. As the invitation goes forward, I told you I'd close. I, I promise you I can keep going. I can keep going for keep a going. Hours. Preach it. But, but I know y'all got things to do. Plus, we're having service tonight. Did y'all know that? Mm -hmm. We have a nice service. Oh, <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so invite somebody different tonight. Yeah, it's going to be a different preacher. You ain't got to put up with the bug man preacher tonight. Be somebody totally different. But as we leave this morning, we need to get up on the mountain of God. That means get along. Get in your prayer closet. If you're in your car, that's cool. That's my prayer closet too. I'll be in my car just turn the radio off. I, I fight my hand with the radio. It's got an owl hand here, man. Don't cut it off like Islam. Just, just get it under strength. Get with Jesus. And say, Lord, my heart and my mind has been busy. There's so much technology. You got cell phones. You got text messages. You got computer games. You got TV. You got new movies coming out. You got a job you got to work all through the week. I know some of us getting older and retired. You got all these things happening in your minds going, nine to nothing, this is the most dangerous generation that ever has been. We look back and we think Nero's day. In the beginning of the church, Nero killed a bunch of Christians. We say, that was a dangerous day. Y'all, we're in a spiritual dangerous day. Our minds are running all the time. We can't hardly hear the voice of God because our minds are little neurons going, Ch -ch 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 -ch. And we're all busy and tied up and tied up, and we don't know which direction to go. And what we do? We run right into a wall. Then we blame it on God. You're supposed to guide my steps. I've been trying to talk to you, Daryl, for two months. You got this going on over here, that going on over there, that going on in my name over there, that going on in your own name over here, that over here you're working with, you're trying to earn a living. Then you get, then you want to pop on the TV at night. And sit there and call and relax. I've been trying to talk to you. I've been trying to talk to you. Jesus is trying to talk to us, y'all. This is a dangerous, dangerous season for you. Are you going to get on the mountain with you? Consider your ways. And say, Lord, I see the nation going down. The Midianites, the spiritual Midianites, Islam or whatever religion is coming in. I see things are being attacked. The monetary system's going down. You can see the dollar. Our debt increases, the dollar goes down. You can work and work and work and spin your wheels while the dollar continues to go down so your retirement plan is just shot. If you want to think in the natural that way. I'm trying to think spiritual and natural and put them together. You see what I'm saying? People working themselves to death, tied up their mind, saying, I'm going to lay this aside for tomorrow. But Jesus says, you fool, tonight your life may be required of you.